Uh, hello, welcome back to Marlon Murphy Vlog. We got another guy that we got today. Um, broke one thing on the show I had to mention, but I'll talk about that after we do the episode. Um, and this case I watched the first of the pairing, after the couple of and yeah, watch the other one because this one I have enough to care about. I think, so, you know, I'm gonna get out of the way now. Um, anyway, the first of the, the pairing is Doof Day Out. Written by, I think Captain, so I can remember, <laughs> Sally Breedman and Mar Maria Ad Ryan. I should think we can pronounce at least the last name. But yeah, big thumb tile, like another full up, gonna do its work. And this one at the beginning, Kara is protecting how annoyed she is, but doing its work and staying on her couch. You know how annoyed she is because we, he keeps interrupting her a lot and disrupting her, you know. A fair bit, so I want him to get out there and do stuff, you know. Going, I got things like going to a museum or helping out my own dad at a work place. You know, things like that, getting out and, you know, getting a job or helping out, just doing things, you know, and do stay out. Um, so this episode I definitely have mixed opinions on. And I, I forgot to mention each episode of had to do the cameo. I mentioned it in No Way Out, but each one had at least a cameo from him. And the first time they did it, it was funny. But it, it's just every single time the joke is the doing for still here. And, he, and if it was a part of the plot, I actually wouldn't mind because at least he'd have a purpose versus just gifting for a cameo. And you know, I feel like, and the thing with the Agent Diogi episode, is that, that entertainment line, I quite enjoy it, but artistically, it's like, you know. I mean, this episode was definitely a mixed bag, because on one hand, it's good that they addressed that the best thing with Capcom Doug is addressed when I do something for being annoying to think I need to do something. But one problem, well, you know, and that's that a good thing. One, well, one problem is something a little annoying. Uh, some of the jokes are good, but some of them are like, he is being disrupted. I mean, apparently he used like, um, kind of like curtains for pajamas or something. Rude. Yeah, and it got slightly annoying things that he does, you know, he has caused a lot of disruption, some of which I get, that's the point, but it's still kind of annoying. <laughs> and apparently the whole reason, like, he's forgotten that the reason he's staying here is that a building got destroyed, or something like that, but otherwise, why wouldn't he just be over there? But we kind of forgot about that, because he mentioned that he's waiting to be, for Destiny to knock, you know. Um, so we can become Professor Time, whatever, even though the specific time in which he's going to, even though he came Professor Time by evading time travel and then changed the name of Randall Reagan, I don't see why he can't just get the jump on that, do that right away, and maybe get to the point where he came from, um, above uh, or earlier, but nope. But no, and, and they know, and they mention in Funk Among Us that in five years he doesn't get to go wide again. Well, he know it's confusing, but what's even more confusing is that why is doing smirking at the halfway should be teaching over the next school? You know that thing they completely have failed to bring up? Right. Do 401 is the first day of school, which that the first day of school, and it confirmed the members of all the pilots in the state school right after that day cover. Because the vote to the cover are linking up. Um, so, doing smart should be there. And then that would go to you when we teaching that day. And after age, they mentioned that fact that he became good, you know, after, you know, we own kind of that teacher. You know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know? So, why can't he there? They don't, it's not like maybe they, maybe they could retcon. They could at least give an explanation as to why he's not there, or like maybe he already, you know, quite quit or something like that. But no, they just completely just didn't got continuity, just so he can be at my house, like, you know, and it's not, and so far him being at my house, I can add a whole lot. Like, the agent D.O.G. you could have had, they could have done a flash platform, you could have had D.O.G. just remember that memory, so, that could we're gonna, and the cup code. Again, it's, all, it's not bad, but it's like not requirement. I'm stuck ranting on do for one thing. I haven't even gotten to other things in the episode. But, um, like, there are quite a few jokes I do like in this one, though. I like, um, I do like a bit of where he, you know, being a bunch of raccoon game, calling a bad memory. 
with Raccoon, but it's showing him, he peeked out of the tent, like a bear, and he's like, oh, I got, got messed up, but then a raccoon comes out, and that, you know. Well, my favorite joke is, like, when he got my own dad going to play, and they're going to do not touch with button thing, and of he touches it, but it's out, it's just a DK button, just in case someone dumb enough to push it. Good that. Oh, good. There are a few jokes, but doing short sure get some good jokes in there. If it's a part where he's been intentionally annoying, it's more like, you know, and they do a bit at the end where Kara mentioned that, you know, probably couldn't admit to you, even though they showed no indication of that and go show, and they show instead of telling that they're showing, you know, you know, and do much more. The, the first thing do much work done, he actually helped out, you know, he helped out Gaku, because he, they're going through the thing, like, in the museum, and he gets the costumes will be able to, you know, got continuity with Underground, and, and you know. Um, Neutral help him get through that, which again, that was good, but then the second thing he does, well, when he met the god thing over there, but through there, kind of acting, like, kind of forget it, plus he did do something good, but the second thing he does when he's trying to, like, help out with the wildlife thing, he ends up, you know, being, you know, an idiot and causing him problem, and then he keep causing him problem, but at the end, they reveal from the whole thing, one of the two good things, you know, which will get a nice little ending. Um, so, yeah, on one hand, I do like that, I still talk about the cup of code, I do like that they had some of that thing, you know, wrap around, you know, and help out, but at the same time, maybe it would have been better to have them, you know, goof up, but also, you know, do sort of like, I don't know, when he, like, I thought that he could do a bad thing, but he's gonna go out of a way to fix the problem, but no, they just sort of evolved him to and he didn't really have to do anything actually good, necessarily. You got to the way we did with Gak, but that, that can come up again, you know? Go, oh, we're going to that play during a montage. It's kind of catchy, but, uh, cool, yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about this one. On one hand, it does try to direct my problem, and it does have a quarter night ending where doing sure did call some good things to happen, and there are some pretty good jokes that made me laugh. But do a short call a little bit of a, of a new skin, and, I just, and it kind of did continuity a little bit. It doesn't really make sense why he is there. It kind of could bring up the problems I've been having. So, definitely the baby one. So, there are things I like in it. There are definitely some funny things. And I appreciate what, what they're trying to do. But, because, I don't know, it seems like they can't do a dude short story. Like, that much fun I'm putting up in some way. But, you know, like, in here, it's like, I don't know. I feel like they could have found a way for them to screw up, but maybe fix the problem themselves, you know? So I appreciate what they're trying to do, but it's like, with a couple code, again, do a couple of problems I've been having with them, maybe we're going to up a battle, but, I don't know, they could have at least made it, made it much annoying and made it like a better episode, but it's not bad, it's mildly entertaining, I can I enjoyed it somewhat, but it got problems, like, even more so in the actor measuring the other were to be able to code, that was generally good with an actor, so, uh, to be able to one just flat mixed, go, yeah, that duped they out very mixed bag, but got some funny moments, and I appreciate what trying to do. Go, so, not a total bust. But yeah, I'll go watch the other episode, and I'll see you for that one. Okay, I am back for a uh, disco do-over, written by the same people who wrote the other episode. So, I have to care their names again. <laughs> Ooh, who? Okay, uh, this episode is a couple code. My own parents mentioned the fact that you know, they are the dating when they were young, they try out rule skating over at a specific rank for something, ap, 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 or something like that, skating ap, or something of that nature, um, and they enter a competition every year, but couldn't win, primarily because of Murphy's Law, and it got to the point where I had a fear of skating, and now that that rank is going to come down, they want to use the last day, that got in order to enter a competition and get over their fear of skating. Thanks for fear, with the help of Milo. Um, meanwhile, the Conan Cavendish, um, <coughs> who are, you know, now working at the uh, paranormal agency for, you know, current block, you know, act like Jan essentially. Um, they are trying to get clean, get, take care of some gnome from an old lady who is not having it. Uh, this made up for just a uh, very enjoyable one. Don't do it. Don't get more than a cameo. He, he makes me appear at the beginning, but then he appears later. Um, he's one of the judges. Um, 
at the competition, and they do a bit where he mentioned that he qualified because of, uh, I am a cool this video. I'm terrible boy. But they played the video, just didn't take me forgot about it. And, um, that part was funny, and I do kind of like the joke where, don't, don't worry, I'm not gonna have a buy in I'm gonna know you. If I'm gonna take a point off to <laughs> show, like, that was funny. Um, so, she apparently could have been getting annoying, but apparently later on, it was a little funny. So, I think it's more in cameo this time. But, um, everything else was highly enjoyable. Um, you know, they, they played some more video calling in the background. They've been doing that. The decommissioned Golfing Queen and Damp Baby are played in the one. Um, they're, they play part of a Kong at one point, go so kind of a Kong in the one, but not quite. Um, so, you know, we get to see uh, more development, my own parent, you know, some good joke with them, you know, me more of what to deal with Martin, Martin Mercy Um, well, yeah, and there's some nice stuff that they get over the fear and do some gaming cool stuff. So, there's some fun at fear, um, now, I do like how both of them get go guard. Shitting from like away from my a little bit, and hey, very important, but then I go do from definitely with Dar, and look up go to the parent car, and go. They're, they're mixing it up a little bit. You know, I'm still have, getting close to the formula, which is what I like about look up code. Um, and do the cameras, Dakota Complot, the Dakota Cameras Complot stole the show for me. That was very, the old ladies, and. Uh, the stuff we do for very funny, and the joke we do at the end was great. <laughs> it's going to a toilet joke done really well. Um, well, they mentioned that we were looking at looking on the bottom of the gnome, and one of them is from Jukultin, and I thought they were going to do something with that, like do damage to overcome, but they don't. Like, the lady down Jukultin ish, but otherwise they don't do anything. So maybe they'll come back later. But for now, it's just sort of a thing they mentioned, not relevant. But, um, you know, for other like, Bob Pop was quite a bit of fun. The only complaint is that doing for Gag Rat quite annoying parent at the beginning, but otherwise, it was a pretty fun episode that gives them more development to the parent, kind of good out here, and a pretty funny subplot. Yeah. Um, oh, God, I imagine. Oh, yeah, there's a scene where one of the couple had, like, um, do, doing the thing at the competition. Uh, they're doing the thing like go cranky that we you two guy commenting on it and go man this should be on TV we do act with a joke we don't get the key but they comment on it yeah and that bit funny but the way they were animated I brought them up with talking about teacher feature but it reminded me of the like, guy I don't know what it's something about the way that they were moving and like in the way their mouths were animated I don't know even more go then. I don't know why, the animation on the show is usually quite fluid, quite good, nothing really, I mean, for a family guy, but that one bit, that small bit, and teacher feature, but their animation and that scene reminded me of it, and I don't know why. Um, but, um, we yeah, have the cup code, if you have a code, we can make the bag, but this one was quite a bit of fun. Um, there's some, you know, that some nice funny moments and a funny cup plot, so, yeah, uh, do stay out, make bad with one, pretty enjoyable, go, make pairing, but, you know, it's all a fun time. You know, the other episode, we're gonna train Duke slightly more than a cameo, but after three couple of code, I just didn't want anything to do with him, so. So, yeah, um, I'm interested to see where we're gonna go with the Dakota Cameron stuff. They can keep it basically back at square one, but they do come funny thing with it. So, yeah, I don't know what the next pairing is. Um, uh, I'm probably looking forward to the episode that Perry Cavana had got me rolling. I'm interested to see where that go. But, either way, I'm asking you for whatever. Oh, wait! Before I go, I have to mention we're an episode that aired on Friday, Cake Explosion. Now, why am I not talking about that one? Because it hit the episode, Lady Croon did not air. And it is not slated to air in Africa or Europe where we get our airing. They're not clear to air for a while, and people speculate the premise is that Milo convinced to buy Trollman or to direct a woman at the premiere of a new movie or something of that nature. So you could get people like a Warnbill going off, oh, the Cap Godum, you know, mm -hmm. iffy, or, 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 you know, the Epicode, you know, or that network being, you know, dumb. We don't know if like anything like, or if it's a coincidence, or they get over it by accident, or if they think that they're really stupid. Or <laughs>
Um, I don't know. I do know that I can't do, I like to do vegan pairing, so I can't just talk about Cake Explosion. Especially again, from what I understand, they're about much to care about that one, ever and for most of Ink, which is not a ton, because if I didn't adjust that one, it'd be too short. Go, so, unless Ready Color, unless I might end up just recording that vlog. I don't know, we'll one episode, I can, not like anything too important happening in that one that make me go, ooh, I have to watch it right away. So, I might just off on that one until Lady Kroon airs on the US, assuming it does, and to, or some booky, but for now I want to wait until Lady Kroon airs, because I just don't want to do just the one up, because that'd be, I don't know, it'd be a wait until the vlog, I think. Especially because if Lady Kroon does air on the US, it'll be with that up code, so yeah, they'll be together then. But either way, I'll see you for whatever the next pairing is, and maybe someday Kate Bodrum, Lady Kroon, but for now, that is all I got. Bye.